I've always believed the best way that the federal government can support our governors is to get out of their way, get them funding, use CDC to give guidance. Um, as we're running out of stuff, I'm asking the question, why are we not looking at idle capabilities now? And governors just go contract for that resource. Why wait for the federal government to do it? If the federal government will just go to 100 percent on protective measures and reimburse them, how much more can states do so we can focus the few federal resources we have in the hardest hit areas? Um, so I just got some news from Mayor de Blasio here in, in New York, and, and there's been a dramatic increase in the number of cases here in New York City. 3,615 positive cases of COVID and 22 fatalities. Uh, currently, to spread that out, there are 980 cases in Queens, 976 in Manhattan, 1,030 in Brooklyn, and 436 in the Bronx, 165 in Staten Island. I'm struck, Andy, by how quickly this, this has escalated just last week. We were considering whether or not some people in this company would go to Florida to cover the primary. That was on you know, Wednesday. On Thursday, that was off the table. Friday, all travel, it seems, was off the table. And that's just mirroring what's been happening across the country. Um, at first, lockdowns weren't even considered. And now we're seeing lockdowns around the country. What we saw in China seems so draconian. And now people are wondering why we aren't doing these um, fever tests for people walking into buildings. Why we, aren't we going out there and aggressively trying to find those who might be spreading symptoms and separating them from the population? Right. So it's a hard thing for people to grasp. But the number of cases we have right now, and even those tragic figures you just read, are going to seem minuscule in a week. The number of cases we will have will double every three days. Right now, it's exceeding that. And we have a large number of cases that are untested still. So with all due respect to your other guests, there's not a governor in the country that's waiting for the federal government right now. They are all acting. What they need is coordination, because we have, believe it or not, we have masks. We have a lot of these things. Guess where they are? They're sitting in the supply chain. People are profiteering off of them, or they're going to places where people are hoarding them. Now, that happens in a crisis. It's only, because, it's only by someone looking through the entire system and seeing where those needs are that you can say, stop hoarding them all in Texas. We need them in New York right now while we build manufacturing capability and put them in Texas. So what your other guest is suggesting here is not helpful. We need a great partnership between the federal and state government. To bullshit people. Uh, Craig, you want to sit down and respond to this? I guess Craig has left. Um, Andy, he doesn't agree with you at all. I guess not. But look, these are trying times, and everyone's trying their best. And I know Craig is, I don't know Craig personally, but I'm, I'm sure he's working his hardest and trying his best. Uh, everybody is. Uh, this is these are unprecedented times. Um, so uh, understandable that he's frustrated. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.